Good morning, good afternoon, and woof woof. I'm here with my <laughs> wife, Laura. Yes, and I'm not going to bark, but we are going to play the game Woof Woof. So this is a, a bit of an obscure game, as sort of games go. Um, the closest approximation of how it plays would be past the pigs, I guess. It involves rolling a little dog and... You'll see scoring. when we open it up. Yeah. But yes, it's a bit, a bit like past the pigs. And there's a few others that have a very similar type of gameplay, but we just happen to have this one. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Um, let's see, I'm just going to see if it focuses there. But apparently it was the... Uh, it won the Toy of the Year Awards was highly commended. In, in 1988. Yes. So it's um, a unique game invented by a dog. Um, for two or more players. There's the back of the box. Very blurry for you. Oh, yes, it is. It's all right. And looking a bit better now. There we uh, go. So we are going to show you the parts and the box and all that. And then we're going to do a full playthrough for you too. Um, I'll just quickly read the blurb. If you can't, Wolf Wolf can be played anywhere with anyone except cats. Good to know. Try your skill, throw the dog and bone, and see if you have a good dog, a bad dog. Wouldn't be a good dog or a bad dog. Yeah, probably. Hmm. <laughs> but let's just ignore that. Let's get it open and have a look inside. So you get your little like instructions. Which is actually very, very important because it actually tells you how to score. Yes. So these are basically just all the spaces kind of on the board, the pictures they use and which ones are good dogs and bad dogs. Although it does say that on the board, which we'll show you in a minute. And it's more just for humour. Yeah. This particular. That's all that this side of it all is. And it's quite long, as you can see. And here's the very long instructions. <laughs> that's how to play. Um, as always, we'll have a copy of this um, down below if you do have the game, but not the instructions. The other side has the points. So if your dog, when you throw it, lands upright, if the dog's touching the bone, upside down, so on and so forth. There's all the different ones on there. Now we actually played this um, before we started filming and um, we had a very boring game. <laughs> Nothing happened. Yeah, so I'm hoping that something a bit more interesting happens while we're filming. Yes, so uh, you have to get to 100 points and as you saw, you get points for different positions. Or you lose points if you, yeah, so either way. Yes, you also get this little The box. dog house and all it has is little scoring tokens, which- That are really flimsy, they're, I might they're add. Just, they're, you know, you know, you get like a raffle ticket. Yeah, that, that sort, sort of, of paper. Yeah, I agree. Um, I would recommend just writing on like a notepad or... Yeah, I would get a piece of paper yeah. and a pen to be perfectly Especially honest. Especially considering but... how often your score goes up and down. Yeah. It's just easier just to... Exactly. But, but there is there is a lot of them in there. I mean, you probably can't see it. But... It's a nice touch, but not probably necessary. No. Next. All right. Well, how about we take a look at... I'm just going to change the focus to manual so we can actually see said dog. We have an old pencil. A very old looking pencil. So, here is Le Dog. So, like past the pigs, you roll him, and depending on <laughs> if you roll him, if he lands on his nose, back, you know, anything like that. All is, the positions you saw on that um, little list before, and then we have the bone. It is just, it feels like a rubber. Yeah, like, it's it, maybe not quite, but it is squishy. Um, so you, you basically, you roll both of these at once mm -hmm. and see what happens yeah. depending on where they land. And then you actually play this inside the box. And I'm just going to change Fix it. that. Um, so this doesn't come out, it's stuck inside the box because uh, one way you can lose points is if they Touch come to the, the side of the box. box or fall out of the or box and out. things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's it. So we're just going to jump in and play. Uh, so if you land, oh, well, actually one more thing, sorry. <laughs> so if you land on good dog or bad dog in here, irrelevant of how your dog is laying, there's points and things that happen there too. But you'll see that as uh, we, and the other mate, as we go. Yeah, well, let's play them. I'll explain a couple of more in intricacies. Alrighty, so got a little game space there. Let's put the woof woof up the right way though, hey? Um, so when you roll, I keep saying roll, when you toss the dog or however you you do, um, you score points depending on where the nose is actually landed and where it's pointing. So Yes, we forgot to say it's specifically the so nose. So if I'm sort of mostly in bad dog, but my nose is sort of pointed, it's in the good what, dog space, over there, yeah, then... then I actually score as a good dog. Yeah. And vice versa, so... Uh, as mentioned, it's first uh, player to 100. If we're here forever, we might speed up a couple of patches. Because it is often, because it's 50-50 whether or not you land on good dog or bad dog, it's quite often you go up 10, down 10, up 10, down 10. Exactly. So let's go. Come let's on. Roll. You might as well go first. Well, I'm in good dog. Okay. 
10 points for you. Um, another thing, the bone is not really used in many of the scoring opportunities. So the bone is only if it lands in the middle um, or is touching the dog or, or if it, it bounces, bounces out of the box. Yeah. So it doesn't really play into much, which is a bit disappointing. And if the dog's on his side, there's no extra bonus points no. there. Oh, I got Ooh. the dog to stand up! <laughs> so you're standing up, so that's your... Uh, and my nose is in good dog. So you get... So I get 10 points for being in good dog, and upright is an extra 20 points. So that's 30. And what about the wolf of the bone? Well, the bone says... It's bone in middle of good dog. How in the middle does it need to be? <laughs> I would say within the cloud. So you're going to give me an extra 10? I would give you an extra 10, because it's actually quite hard to get it to be in the middle without it sort of crossing over. True. Um, I'm almost halfway there then. I'm on 40 points. Well, I'm touched another bone that is fine. So uh, his nose is in bad dog, so that's mm. lose five points. So that puts me on five, and the bone didn't actually bounce out, so... No, it stayed in, luckily for you. So you're on five, I'm on 40. That is a very At the good... moment. That could go downhill fast. Where's my nose? I can't tell from here. Ooh, I think it's just in bad dog. Yeah. Bum. So minus 10 or 5? Five. five. <laughs> Don't be taking away all my points, thank you. I'm a bad dog. Minus 5, that puts me on zero. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Alright, well. Well, the bone's in the middle. Yeah, and, and it's pointing nose... towards good dog. Right, so that's uh, 20 points total there, extra. Uh, not extra, should they? Yeah, total. So I'm bad dog. <laughs> I don't. Can you, I'm not sure. Can you go into negative? There's nothing in the instructions about whether you can go into negative, so we're gonna do it. Oh, beautiful! So I'm a negative five now. Good. Yep, minus Good. five. Doing well. Yeah, very bad dog. Okay. Um. I would say it's I'm probably on the bad. Cloud, so bad yeah, dog I think it's that bad dog section. So minus, minus five. five. So I'm on fifty for anyone. Not scoring. Uh, that's yeah. a good dog, just I think. Just. So as you can see, that puts you on to five points. Uh, past the pig would be the closest thing because you're all like a little figure, and depending on how it lands. Yeah, uh, my nose is in a bad dog. So down to forty-five. Good dog, and in the middle. So mm. that's twenty that's, points. Uh, yeah, twenty between the two. So fifteen then. Making yes. a comeback. Um, just in case we sound a bit odd, by the way, uh, we've both been sick lately, oh, so been forgive us if, you it's been know. nasty around here for that. Bad dog. Okay. Ooh, good dog. Good dog. Yes, I'm making a menacing comeback. Woof, woof. It's really hard to get the dog to stand up or be on its, like, bottom or any of those things. Good dog. Ooh. I think my very first roll, um, when we first played it, what was I like, something like that or something? Or really yeah, lucky. when we practiced off camera, um, Nathan got it upside down, so... Good dog? Oh, sorry, um, yes. Just good dog. Ooh, just, uh, Nathan's on 45 and I'm on 50, so... Ooh, man, a menacing comeback. Getting closer. Good Ooh, no, no, the nose is in bad dog. No, now we're even. Alright. Oh! Ooh, snap! With your nose over and... I oh, think it's in good, good dog. dog. And so standing up is 20 plus. He's a 10. very... He, he's turned himself around. So you're on 75 now with that one. I'm pointing good into good dog. Okay, good. I don't want to go backwards anymore. Bad dog. Ooh. You're running out of space to write scores Yeah, I've got a camera. really small piece of paper over here I'm scoring on. Bad dog, bad, bad dog. dog. Um, as we mentioned, you can use little points that came in the box, but it just wasn't as convenient trying Especially to film. Especially with two people, how often you you scoring back and forth? Good dog. Exactly. Be Ten points for Mr. Wolfers. Right. That's mm, a good, good dog. dog. So, so what are we on now? Nathan is on eighty, and I am on sixty. Oh, that's a bad dog. Okay, I am almost out of space on my paper. Bad dog. Bad, bad dog. dog. I should have got up and got another piece of paper before we started doing this. Uh oh, the bones, he's a very They're bad dog. They're touching each other. And I think I'm in the bad dog space too. Uh, no, I think technically you'd be in this yellow okay. one under there. So, so we'll, we'll count that as a, as a good, but so that, it cancels it out anyway. You lose 10 points for them touching each other. Hmm. So you stay on 75. Good. Well, good we almost dog. stood up then, but no. Okay. Alright, come on. Good, good dog. So as you can see, not much really happens because the dog doesn't really stand up or do anything else 
other than stay not outside. Not that often, And no. they're, they're not rubbery enough to really bounce out of the box. Not unless you're throwing them down, but neither of us are that violent when we play board I games. I believe that's just in good dog. Uh, not from my angle. From I think my it's angle. bad dog. Oh, okay, it's bad dog then. Yeah, why are you arguing with me? <laughs> good dog. What am I okay. on? Okay, Nathan's on 95 and I'm on 60. Ooh, close. Oh, am I touching Good the dog. side of the box? No. You are not. Phew. Just. This could be the winning roll. You're nope. a bad dog. Bum, bum. Come on. Good dog. Good dog. Okay. I'm coming. I'm getting closer. Good dog. Good dog. Um, that gives Nathan 100 points and I'm still back on 80 points. So you know if you got into negative. Yeah, he still won. <laughs> so it, it's totally just where they fall. I mean, you can try and cheat and sort of do that, but people are really going to notice what, what, if you're throwing them into the corner or yeah. you know for specific they, places. I think the box itself mentions a good travel game, and I think you'd get a lot more enjoyment if you were like in a car playing it mm. because it wouldn't be an even, and you got more chance of bouncing out or hitting the side and all that. Just playing it, you know, on a table like we are now. It, it's pretty boring. It's not the most exciting game. Um, for us, anyway. I, I would definitely play past the pigs over this. Yeah. Um, I do like the design, the little dog figure, the little bone, and I think it's nicely presented. It's just... It's just there there are things that do the travel sort of game better, I think. Yeah. Is, yeah, that's kind of what you're saying as well. Hmm. Um, as, as we mentioned, we'll have the instructions down below, though, just in case the game is, you know, something you do want to play. And since it's so important to have the instructions in the game, or you can't play it at all. Yeah. Unless you've memorised. All the points and, and positions, yeah. Mm. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, let us know down below if you've played Woof Woof or any other games that are, you know, that same kind of throw and position sort of points concept. Hit subscribe and check out the link down below to our food review channel. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.